Looking ahead, it would be impossible to envisage free, fair and credible elections in December 2024 unless all South Sudanese parties, leaders and stakeholders grab the bull by the horns and agree on a critical mass of decisions by the first quarter of 2024. At the end of this year, the Secretary General will be reporting to the Security Council on progress towards peaceful elections. The criteria for which should reflect the will and consensus of the South Sudanese themselves and not a set of externally driven conditions that is externally driven by the UN. While there remains much international goodwill towards South Sudan, partners are looking to its leaders and more broadly to its political class to translate this moment of truth into a vision of shared peace and prosperity for all. Closing this gap requires the collective imagination and a spirit of practical compromise amongst all the parties to the revitalized peace agreement. Let me underscore that elections are not a one-day event, but a process that incorporates deliberate and thoughtful decisions before, during and after the polls. All these processes must have the full buy-in and support of the South Sudanese, and especially uh, in the case of a country emerging from divisive conflict. Today, the honest assessment of many observers and stakeholders is that the current political and civic operating space does not offer a level playing field. Therefore, it's imperative for the parties to agree on a code of conduct around free, fair and transparent competition. One must cautions against the temptation towards unilateral actions that undermine the trust that is needed amongst all stakeholders. South Sudan remains one of the deadliest environments for humanitarians to operate in, and I condemn in the strongest terms attacks against aid workers in South Sudan, which only prevents assistance from reaching those in need. Let's work together to honour the sacrifices of your founding mothers and fathers who envisaged a peaceful, prosperous and democratic future for all. UNMIS remains with you in this journey.